Boy, don't I have the heck of a social life, don't I? Yesterday I'm out hobnobbing with the boss and Janet, eating over at Betty's Fish and Chips, and well, tonight I'm going to go to a place I really also love, and that's uh, my friend Cindy Russo and her husband Len. They're home up in uh, Windsor, a beautiful area, beautiful home, beautiful people. Beautiful. Cindy's mom is amazing, uh, Dory. So uh, I'm excited to get an invitation to go back tonight. Um, and I think tonight is going to be the night of uh, wood fired pizza. So I'm kind of excited about that. I uh, talked about it for about a year and a half. It's, it's like me. It's I haven't I haven't made it, but I'm saying then the weather got cold and everything else, and it wasn't possible to really sit out. The weather is going to be chilly tomorrow, but not today. So we're going to head up and uh, let's have a good time. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Yeah, I'm always on the go doing stuff. Always on the go. Still the neck, down. Down, down. Zelda. Oh. <laughs> down. down. Zelda. Max. Max. So excited. Oh. <laughs> they remember me. <laughs> You're going to get something to play with. There it is. See? She, imme she immediately got a ball to play with. She remembers. Oh, all right. Well, that's quite an entrance I made today, I'll tell you. Holy smokes. So nice. You look beautiful as always. Oh, I looked out here. I could smell it from the street. It looks so cool out here. Look at this. I mean, I feel like I've never been to Italy, but I feel like I'm in Italy, you know. And there's, there's land, and of course, Cindy, and uh, look at the way... Uh, Z Zelda brought that ball. He's, He's like, said, ready, ready to ready immediately play. to play. How cool is this setup? Look at, I saw you tending to the fire over here. Yeah, trying to get this thing getting hot. Wow, that's amazing. And you and your boys put that, which one did you put, put, put that together? together. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It just hours. looks, it looks so cool when it's, when it's all fired up and all the, all the, uh, fires lit in it and everything. How yeah. have you been, Len? Good I've to see good. you. Look at this. This must really be nice on, uh, especially fall nights and yeah. just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got some, yeah, we got some kind of weird weather event coming in tomorrow or something. Yeah, you know, so, snow up in the, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to rain. I don't so. think so either. I think it's going to mess up. There's my buddy. There's Max. Sit, Max. Sit. 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 Good boy. See, Max. Zelda, sit. Sit. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Uh... You know how nosy I am. I always have to see everything that's going on everywhere. Oh God, Just ask so Janet, good. right? Yeah. Yeah, these are the grapes. And are these wine grapes or are these, uh, these are eating grapes? Eating grapes. Uh -huh. yeah, I think these are cotton candy. Oh, look at them. How do they taste? Pretty good? Those I don't grapes? know if these are ready yet. But I mean, generally, these look like Concord. These are my Concord. I make jam out of these because they're seedless. Wow. It's hard to get seedless, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I know it's like oh, they're, they're so good. Juice. They're so good. Look at this. They look beautiful too. I always think of Welch's when I. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's your peppers. This is your. Um, let's go slow here. This is your cucumbers, right? Yeah, cucumbers. And you've gotten a lot of cucumbers this season. Oh gosh, too many! I've thrown some away. Now, do you do you pickle them, or uh, what do you do? We eat a lot of uh, salads and stuff salad. with them. A lot of cucumber salad. Yeah, and I do make pickles. We made a lot of pickles this year. Yeah, that's a lot. So, how much would you get? How many cucumbers do you think you would get off this? This a lot of lot, huh? We've had probably close to I would say seventy or eighty. Wow. You end up giving a lot of it away. I, I gave a lot. My kids took some. And I <laughs> yeah, gave we some got to peppers here. <laughs> what kind of pepper variety? That one is a gypsy pepper. 
tipsy. I don't know. Hot? Uh, no, just it's very mild. mild. It's really, really good with a steak and stir on the grill. Oh, okay. And you got, what, are bell peppers back these here? These are hot cherry peppers. Hot cherries. And these are pepperoncinis. The ones oh, yeah. that you see, you know, pickled yeah, in the drawers. Yeah, absolutely. So you really like your peppers, huh? I make a lot of salsa. I make a lot of, uh, you know, pickled peppers, a lot of pepper jam, things like that. Yeah, it's great. And this is this looks like basil. Or is this, That's basil. Yeah. How good am I right now? Yeah. <laughs> I surprised you. Didn't. <laughs> and this is your tomatoes here, That's and I've tomatoes. had tons of tomatoes. This look he these down. look healthy. I almost lost the watering system. You saw the video. Yeah, right I saw that. Yeah, these are good-looking tomatoes. What variety? Do you remember what variety? These are put? better boys, I believe. Yeah, I think I put them in too. And they've just been going crazy. This first yeah. one, this front one here, and I think the better boy has grown into this one. But so even, you still get enough be. sun. Which way south? This I is mean, morning sun. All okay, morning oh, sun. that's the best sun. Yeah, yeah, the morning sun's the best one before it gets all scorched yes. and stuff. Well, the yes. dogs look great. You know, they look wonderful, happy as ever. I know, we're going to play a little bit today. Don't worry, Zelda. We're going to play a little bit today. I know. Your pal is back here today. Very good. Very good. Those are long beans. Back now, what do you have here? Just a random. There's, there's, well, they started out just being scallions, but they've grown into larger onions now. But they're still good to use. Well, that's good. Yeah, I see some. Uh, I see some. Those are sweet onions. Yeah. I think well, you got a lot. Right you got a lot packed into here, Cindy. Good yeah. job. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Cindy said, "I'm tired of peaches and stuff. I've had it with stone." <laughs> You know, it's it's late August. Finally, no more. Fine. Have mercy on us, right? No this more. Usually, it's for our lettuce, and, and we we tried to redo arugula. I don't know if it's going to take or not. So you harvested all your uh, lettuce. Now, do you uh -huh. harvest, or do you pinch it back and let it, or, or am I thinking I of spinach? I do up to a certain point. Okay, and then, and then it I, bolts or something. Yeah, then it starts growing. Tall okay. Just okay. Pull. All right. How about this, guys? Look at these. Making jams. That is, yeah. You'll have to save me a jam. Okay. Man, that would be crazy to have a Concord grape jam. It's not like Welch's, you know. I mean, it's probably going to be like it, but. Thyme, oregano. Yeah. Well, you got oregano. it all here. That was dill. Where's the oregano? I've never seen it in captivity. Okay. <laughs> this is all oregano. Oops. Oh, oh boy. Oh yeah, it is. Boy, I love that. Now, when you're cooking with fresh compared to dried, uh -huh. how big a difference is it in your? Well, they well, I don't know how much of a difference it is, but. So uh, you cook a lot of Italian food. I use mostly. I use a lot of dry. I'll, okay. I'll cut these and I'll dry them out and crumple them up. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And I always learn a lot from. I learn a lot from Cindy. Oh, potatoes. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be exciting when you pull them out and see how many you ultimately get, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know what happens with the boss and Janet. They try to grow grapes, Thompson Seedless, and they always just just follow. They never seem to do it. These look so good. Mm. I don't know what the secret is. Maybe they're faced in the wrong direction or something. I don't well, know. Well, you know, it could very well be. I don't uh, know. Some of the neighbors right. across the way have a harder time. Well, let me stop BSing here and we'll, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Let me go say hi. Did you chase one of the yeah. I did. yeah, I did. They're fantastic. I just want to say hi to Dora real quick. Give me a ball. Zelda. Give me that ball. We'll play. Here we go. Give me the ball. There we go. Oh boy, I didn't even get the ball over there. She so grabbed it in like midair and stuff. Uh, so it's actually you're like heating up the stones in there, right? And that's the thing that really bakes it. Yeah, you, you build your fire yeah. in the middle. Yeah, and, and then, then you, you push, push it, all, it to the side. You push it all the back. Now I asked you before, did you ever bake bread in there before? Did you try baking I like tried. artisan bread? It, didn't, didn't it quite. came out like a brick. Yeah, a little too hot. <laughs> so there's something I gotta, I have to learn how to do. Probably because. You need to like introduce steam onto it to re to retard the crust from setting real early, and you kind of get a lot of oven spring. Yeah, exactly, something like that. I know you always want to play. Wow, well, that's uh. That's your point Reyes. Point Reyes blue cheese, which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You have cantaloupe wrapped in like like a prosciutto. Mm -hmm. 
That looks amazing. And what is That's this a That's a Point pe Reyes pepper cheese. Len just picked that up. So it's the first time we're trying that one too. All right, there we go. Looks really, really awesome. Uh, Mom going to join us over here? Uh, of course she will. You going to come over and join us? The uh, beauty queen of Oklahoma here and come on <laughs> over and get You're something. To... I sure do. Red Dirt, Oklahoma, remember? Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, remember the red dirt, right? Oh, we get in cool. everywhere, and you know that, right? Yep. I can't remember the town was. The what? The town you were from. Lone Wolf. Lo Lone Wolf, Oklahoma. It's awesome. All right, told you. Get Cindy's got some kind of real genes here, let me tell you. Does that look wonderful? Let's see what we got going on. We're, we got our infrared checker. Look at the fireplace going over Delicious. That Point Reyes blue cheese, if you guys have never had it before, if you can get that in your market, it is astounding. So we have our infrared checker here. And what are we showing here? Well, first one was an error. It was five, it was almost 600 degrees. Okay. I always bake mine at high, but that's really a nice looking now setup in there. Error. Fire in the hole. That's it. <laughs> See, it's, getting it's, some kind of air, but yeah, it's, it might it's, be good to go. It's past the, the heating. The, up here, it's 357. Yeah, okay. That's well, that looks good. Let's look over here. Okay. See how nice this looks. Right. How homey. That's nice. I didn't show you the rest of her um, trees here. This is a Fousey apple tree. And that's a really healthy looking apple tree too. That's a fantastic. How much yield do you get off of that? It's variable. Variable, yeah. Yeah. One year we had way, way too many. This is like very, very, very few. This year. Yeah, that's what I had with the gravensteins. Just nothing. And we have uh, some more citrus over here. So there's a lot packed into this property, right? So this looks like another variety of orange, and then. That's is this a lime? No, that's a, that's a, that's a orange tree. It's a Valencia. Yeah, that's good. That's my favorite. And what that's is... There is there is seedless lime. Okay, that's a, a lime over there. Let me just scratch one of these. Yeah, that's a lime, all right. And let me show you guys what else. I like the flowers, too. And this is another... Uh, that's a Colomundan. That's an Asian citrus. Yeah. It's kind of like kumquat. You just eat the whole thing. Yeah, you eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're good. Kumquats are good. So, hey, like that, guys. And then we have. Uh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. There's. Yeah. Oh, oh, good call. And what is this one here? Hey, Zelda, no. no. That's another orange tree. Another orange tree. That makes. This one makes really, really good juice. It must be a Valencia family, then. Might be. Yeah, if it doesn't Some have a navel on the bottom. There is a navel. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So you pack a lot in here. Here's the pears. Mm -hmm. I never know one to quite to pick mine. I just give them a little squeeze test. To see. Pears are a little hard for me to judge. Well, what you do is you take you take a pear and you cup it in your hand and tilt it to the side. If it pops off the the branch, they're ready to pick. Wow. Okay, that's you don't a want good. To pick them when they're when they're already. That's a good tip. Okay, so this, yeah, your production is very good here. And you get, like I said, the morning sun is wonderful for all of this. You get sun a lot of the day, so mm -hmm. uh, that's great. Beautiful, and this is the Meyer lemon. Uh -huh. And there's the kumquat tree. That is the kumquat. Over yeah. there. So he shows, shows you guys you can pack a lot into a property and enjoy it. You preserve a lot. You do a lot of jams and yeah. jellies and things like that, so... All right. Cindy's going to talk about her pizza. I just make a rancho pizza. I use the Chef Boyardee mix to make the crust, and it does a great job What's for the man? for the crust. But you've actually, um, you, you yeast and make up your own mm -hmm. dough here. Look at that. So that's rising right now. Oh, yeah. it smells wonderful. I just got a smell of it, too. That's the second one. That's, that's it. Secret started. family recipe. And you're using, you're, you're really making... 
a margarita is that what they call margarita, that yeah. pizza Basil. which which yeah you'll it's it's a simple but it's a very fresh sort of ingredient mm -hmm. pizza right with mm -hmm. the so here's got the sliced mozzarella to use and you have your own toppings here the tomatoes are going to be delicious and you make your own sauce right yes sir see I do. that's what i'm saying use your making your own sauce is wonderful and then uh, zelda are you helping out here today huh are you helping out right are you helping out huh where's your wobby huh where's your wobby you want, to be a, you want to be a star, don't you? Look at this. This is uh, Cindy's refrigerator pickles that she made. So I'm going to try one of them real quick. Here. This spear. Mmm. That's so light. You know, it's so light. It was very delicate. That's delicious. Mmm. -mm. So here we have our own Martha Stewart of Sonoma, Sonoma County here. Better looking than Martha, I'll tell you that. So here we Just go. a little bit younger, too. Yeah. And now, uh, are you going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition there? Yes, you could be. So. Yep. Zelda, you're just everywhere, aren't you? It's nice. It's like, I feel like it's just like a studio right, right here. <laughs> got the fire going in right the back. That's so why I, so I love yeah. this recipe. These get poofy. And like yeah, in they're no good. Time. That's good. You'll have to share the recipe with me. Okay. Unless it's a family trade secret. It's not. It's it? actually from my big Italian cookbook. Okay. So, All right. Let's check the yeah, let's go over here. It's over 800 degrees. That's why it says error. All right. So it should cook pretty well. Yeah, that's good. I like a very high temperature. Uh, uh, let me get around here and show. Oh, so actually, you push the you push the fire back now, oh, and okay. all the stones and things are superheated. That's really great. That's beautiful.
Linda, you never thought you'd be featured in a cinematic uh, <laughs> piece of making here, but that really is a work of art. You set a very high standard for the Rancho to shoot for now. You feel, <laughs> right? Um, I'm, I'm laughing on the outside, but I'm crying on the inside. Oh. You saw that great cinematic feature <laughs> with uh, Cindy here. So this is the better try that on camera. Simple. Delicious. I have to have the recipe for the uh, for the dough is amazing. Olives, sausage, pepperoni. You did a beautiful job. Crunch, cook through. Mm -hmm. I have to give it 10 stars, it's great. <laughs> Just one look. You think Len makes a great pizza, huh? <laughs> what do you think, Mom? You give it the thumbs up, you give it the old Oklahoma double thumbs up Ooh. right there. The old Lone Wolf <laughs> Oklahoma, baby. We're having pizza tonight, Pop. There it is. That looks so good. It's got the tomatoes and everything on it. I'm going to stop blabbing and start eating. Now we're making a uh, dessert pizza, which will be the first time I've ever had one. So you you have apples off your own tree here. Right. I don't and have to go get those prepared still. Okay. And then... Uh, your dough is already ready to go. Here. The dough is delicious that you make, by the way. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> So you guys saw the peaches, so okay, I won't hold you up, so. Okay, let me go grab that stuff and we'll yep. put that together. All right. Zelda, what are you doing? You like that ball, huh? You like that ball? Look at that ball. Look at that ball. Oh, there goes. <laughs> Mutt and Jeff there. <laughs> Nice slobber ball. That's what I. Good catch too. Good catch. Good catch you are. Right. Watch this. Ooh, what a snag. Be a good outfielder, huh? <laughs> All right, one more. Let's impress people. All right. Oh, nice catch, Max. Nice catch. So one thing I learned from Cindy tonight is maybe do up your dough first in the uh, cook that a little bit. It'll seal it. It'll also make it kind of bubbly and I think gives more taste to it. All right. So I'm going to try that in the future next time I do a pizza. So. And notice you don't really use a rolling pin. I used to, but I just feel that it just took all the air out of the yeah, dough. Yeah, I think and it you're just right. Made it flat. I just think it's uh, it gets more um, uh, bubblier and, and uh, yeah, I fluffier. think you got something there. Yeah. So next time I'm just going to do hand uh, hand pulled on the. It takes piece. a little longer, but yeah, but it's like you said, you're not going to knock every little bit of air out of mm -hmm. it either. So that's a good thought. Same way when making bread, if you punch too much of the air, uh, air at, you don't get nice holes in it and things. Right. So. I mean, my, my cousin was alive. He didn't he didn't roll it. He just did this. Rollers course, are banned. Like that, too. Yeah, but, uh, I can do that. I did that for a summer, but I'm saying that's the easy part. But uh, thinking yeah. about what you're doing, see, I, I just can... You, you do it so long, and then you don't think, well, maybe I could do something different, so... That's why I like uh, I like looking at this. So here's the apples. This is a dessert, and you got some sugar there. Uh huh. And I guess you're gonna use a brush for. Uh, I'm gonna brush it with butter. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna do the. the I'm gonna put it in there okay. first. Okay. All right. There and we then... go. We'll see it when it comes out. Flip that over. Ooh. It's almost like a non bread, isn't it? That's yeah. what. It, yeah. Kind of looks like it's it. Pretty amazing. Right. Cindy's gonna. Send me a link to the recipe or something, so I'm going to try to reproduce this in the future. So you're brushing that with butter now, mm -hmm. and that's going to really make it good. No pizza sauce this time. Butter makes everything better. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> and here comes the apple. So it's almost like a 
pizza apple galette. Here comes the cinnamon, the sugar has been put on. Caramelized is real good. Now you have this. What do we? Have? What's this? Our... That goes on last. Okay. And what is that? That uh... is melted vanilla ice cream. Oh wow. Well, okay. It's super good. All right. I'll believe you. I'm not going to argue. Okay, right? <laughs> you haven't made a ringer yet, so I trust you. I think I'm just might just drizzle this a little bit. Yeah, you apples. might as well use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. In she goes. Okay. Yeah. Nice peel too. You really have to have that, don't you? I have one of those crank things. Yeah. Cheap. I had a snow shovel years ago. Oh, the <laughs> it's the rancho, you know. It's the rancho, right? Everything's just a little, you know, little hack job. Do what we do. I will right, we'll see it when it comes in. Well, philosophy. You get what you pay for. Yeah. There's no economy when you think you're saving no. like olive oil or no. something like that. So I was seeing this is the real polenta. This is Italian. Made in Italy here. Product of Italy. So I'm checking lens philosophy, right? What's your philosophy? Hmm? Drool more, talk less. That's my philosophy. Right? Hers is play more. You know, That's yeah. it. Just play more, play more. And You'll play never more. wear this dog down, I'll tell you that. On the inside. On, on fire. <laughs> Got crispy. That's the way you like it. Melted vanilla ice cream gone on top. You know, you're going to drive people crazy on this video. <laughs> Cindy's like, good. <laughs> Put that light on there. Here we go. Yum, yum. I got to go first. Boy, that crunch sounds good. No, the split in four is, how about that? <laughs> Does that look magnificent? <clears throat> Dessert pizza, apples, melted ice cream, cinnamon. Excellent. Candles in the fireplace, how nice that makes you it. I like that. We're gonna go check out the game room because, oh, yeah, you added the jukebox. Wow, yeah. Got your pool table, I remember. Yeah. And this has been, you picked up this. That's a jukebox. Yeah. And you can use Bluetooth for. Bluetooth, it, it does everything. You can play radio, you can do records. Uh, oh. That's really cool. I like that. You got your uh, CD uh, mm -hmm. player, fridge, yeah, your cool decor. I remember these. And then you have your really nice bar. Did that light up in the back before? Yes. I just have to get back there. Yeah, that's so. right. Yeah, I don't want to, you got a bum hand, so I don't. Uh, that's good. I, I can sneak through there. Yeah, there it is. That's nice. You look like a real New York bartender now. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Got all those good Italiano ones, too. 
That's impressive. <laughs> like this. That's, that's cute. I like that. I like the little tattoos that you guys put on here. Excellent. I like that. Really nice. I tell you, I am one very blessed person to be able to walk in there and have a meal like that, or pizza like that, and ambiance like that. I mean, I, I used to think I made a pretty good. Uh, I used to think I made a pretty good pizza. Now we got to drop back and punt. So it looks like trash day and the hood's coming tomorrow. So thank you, uh, Cindy, as usual, and Len. I hope you enjoyed. <coughs> we gave a little bit of uh, gave a little bit of a cinematic feature with Cindy making her pizza there, and I'll tell you, she had a great idea. I can't wait to get that steal that recipe for the uh, dough because it made it so nice and uh, this puffy, and then baking it twice. <laughs> Pardon me. Baking that twice really, really, really uh, made a difference. Well, all right, guys. I want to thank you for being along. And I will see you on the next exciting episode of whatever we're doing. Your thumbs up are appreciated. Leave a nice comment for uh, Cindy and Land. And, uh, just love, love, love. Cindy's mom, Dora, she's uh, uh, right around coming into 90 and just, uh, just, a, just a joy, absolute joy to be around. So thanks for watching, everybody.